hi and welcome to my garden on this very hot very sunny day and today we've got a tutorial for this mouse here um, this is a lemon mouse and this is an orange mouse this is an orange mouse because it's basically an orange you know it's orange and it's got a, a, a leaf to it and it's a it's a mouse and this is his lemony friend um, and he's a lemon and he is also a mouse so what you're going to need is some four millimeter double pointed netting needles some uh, weight four or five yarn that's sort of an Aran weight worsted weight yarn in the colors of your choice um, a darning needle and a pair of scissors and I will and some stuffing and some eyes and then we will put together this mouse cool Right, to um, start with our strawberry mouse, this is the worst part of the pattern by far. Um, we're going to start by casting on three and joining in the round, which is one stitch on each needle. The first row should be nice and simple, but because we're spread over three needles, this can be a bit tricky. I always find that it pays to keep an eye on what you're doing with your working yarn and where that is. And do not be dismayed if all this comes apart because um, that's par for the course. So when you've got this many needles going on at once, this is the bit that I find a little bit challenging. But um, just be patient, it'll be fine. So we've knit one stitch. We're still on the needle there. Um, we're knitting our second stitch in the row. Honestly, this could be the world's slowest tutorial for the first couple of rows. And then we're going to turn again. This is definitely easier on bamboo needles because they don't slide as much. But um, I have a dog who has a tendency to well, chew on bamboo needles. So I stopped using them a few years back. I mean, to be fair, he's an older dog now. He probably isn't going to chew on my bamboo needles anymore because he hasn't chewed on anything in probably three years. But he's not been forgiven for chewing on my Calvin Klein sunglasses um, when he was a puppy. He is 12, so I, ah, okay, right, okay. We're not gonna panic about the dropped needle. We're just gonna pick that up again. So this is definitely the worst part of the entire thing. Now pull all your yarns tight. What we've managed to do, all going well, is we have knit one round and then we've picked up our stitch again because well, we were a little bit. It's a, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit shocking when you've got so few stitches, but it is about to get significantly easier. So if we um, work out again, which is our tail yarn, which is our working yarn, just keep moving that guy away for the moment. All right, so we are now going to. Go into our next stitch, which is this one here. You can use a stitch marker. I find that I don't want to, um, but that's because I'm a giant pain in the butt, let's be honest. Um, there's not many stitches in this entire mouse. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to knit each stitch through the front, and then we're going to turn our work, and we're going to knit the same stitch through the back loop as well. Now that's going to give us two stitches on each needle. So we've got two stitches on needle one. We're just going to turn to needle two and we are going to knit in the front loop of this stitch. And then we're going to come around and we're going to go into the back loop of the stitch as well. And now we've got two stitches on this needle. Now on our last needle, this is the bit that is the most precarious of the entire project. And I'm just gonna keep saying that because don't give up at this point. It does get easier. Um, I keep meaning to make this into a seamed pattern, but I have yet to do that because I don't like seams let's be completely honest right okay what we've got here is we've got 
two stitches on each needle and a bit of a nose nubbin in the middle. Round two, we are just going to knit all of the stitches. So I will pause this, knit all the stitches and come back. Right, so I've knit the full round there. Round, knit, round four. So what we're going to be doing in this one is very similar to what we're going to be doing in every single row from here on. What we're going to do is we are going to knit until the last stitch in the last stitch we're going to knit in the front and the back of that last stitch which means we're going to go from two stitches on these needles to having three stitches on these needles each so here we go this is getting a little bit easier um, we're still running the risk of stabbing ourselves many times over with double pointed needles but um, that's that's the pain that we endure. So we've knit the first stitch, we've knit into the second stitch, and now we're knitting into the back loop of our second stitch on needle one. We now have three needles, three stitches on this needle, and things are going much better. See, look, I'm barely losing anything. I'm maintaining all of my sanity. So needle two, we are knitting the first stitch. We're knitting into the second stitch. So leaning around the camera and the needles definitely does increase the level of difficulty. We've got three stitches on needle two. And now needle three. I do recommend being a little bit slow and careful at this early stage, simply because you can lose your needles so, so easily. So knit the first stitch knit into the front and the back of your second stitch. There we go. So it's starting to come along a little bit better. What we're starting to see is a little bit of a triangle going on. We've got three stitches on each needle. Row five, we're just going to knit all these stitches. So I'm just going to knit the stitches and then come back and join you in row six. All right, that's all done. So row six, uh, we're just going to knit the first two stitches. We're going to get to the last stitch. In the last stitch, we're going to knit in the front and the back. You'll start to see that this is the pattern. And it's going to keep going like that up the side of the mouse. Not the mouse's face, anyway. So we've knit the first two. And now we are in the front and the back of that third stitch. We now have four stitches on our needle. So this is forming our wee mouse nose quite nicely. So we knit, 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 front and back. And now on the last one, here we're going to knit, 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 front and back. Right, so what we're doing here, you'll see we've got a little bit of a nose point coming through. And if we compare it to our lemon mouse here, um, the lemon mouse has got an extra row of stitches in his nose, giving him this lemony shape. So what we're in, what we're in fact doing is we're creating this increase around here. Now, whether or not some people don't like the curve. I quite like it. I don't mind the little curve going through his face. I think it makes him quite endearing. So this is the way I've gone with it this way here. Um, if too many people wanted me to change it, I can make it so that there's one stitch going through the middle and then coming off each side. But I find the curve makes this a slightly easier pattern and um, it forms up quite quickly. It's still, it's only a really small, tiny fruit mouse. So the curve's quite sweet. So what we're going to be doing here is we're we've increased to four stitches on each needle and basically it's a case of um, increase a row knit a row increase a row knit a row increase a row knit a row until we have eight stitches on each needle so if you've got the pattern there in front of you and you're following along with this this year is row six i am going to rejoin you when we finished row 14. all right so here we are at the start of row 14. We're up to um, seven stitches on each needle. 
which is quite nice because it's just got one more increase and then we are done with our increases so um, we're just going to finish here row 14 where we knit six and we knit into the front and back of the last stitch as we have been every other row to do exactly the same. We're going to knit right across to that last stitch. When we get to that last stitch, we are going to knit into the front and the back, giving us eight stitches on each needle or 24 stitches in total. So this here gets us to the full pointiness of our mouse. It looks a little deceptive because of the way the stitches are sitting. All I've done is just rolled up our yarn tail and shoved it there in the little nose. So the next 11 rows are just a straight knit. There's nothing special going on. All we're going to do is to carry on knitting up our mouse. And what this will do, it'll take us from having our last increase here and we'll be going up to this point here before we start decreasing for the mouse's bum. So we're going to now knit these 11 rows. I might knit a few of them and speed the footage up, but mostly it's just knitting. We're just going around and around in a circle, um, knitting away. So, uh, I'll poke you in the eye, poor thing. Um, I will see you when we get up here, which is at row 28. Right, so what we've done here is we've finished the straight knit stitches and we're now up to row 28. Now, row 28, we're going to start to get much, much smaller. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in our eyes at this point. If we have a look at um, our little lemon fella here, what we've got is um, the eyes sort of towards a third of the way towards the decrease, really, because we want them to sit on one of the sides and then have an eye on either side of there. I've got slightly different eyes for this guy here because I found I had ones with an orange edge to them and I thought, why not? To be honest, it doesn't really matter where you put your eyes because it's your mouse. Um, you can do anything you like. I did make a lemon a few years back, and not a lemon mouse, but a lemon, and I went out of my way to put the eyes lopsided. Um, this time I have not gone out of my way to put my eyes in lopsided, and yet I've managed to do so. So what I think I'll do is I will drop this guy down. Have a look at that. There we go. That looks relatively even. So we sort of check from the top. We check from the sides, we check from just looking at his little sweet little face. Now I do know that some people have um, the safety eyes that have a little machine to put them on. I do not. I have um, cheap ones from the internet. And I follow the complicated knots method of putting them on backwards. Um, she does it to get more clicks. Um, I do it because it gives me something to push against to put the little bungs on and yeah that's that's the reason why I do it I just do it backwards because otherwise I struggle I struggle with circulation in my hands I struggle with being able to hold things sometimes so it makes things a little bit easier for me to put them on backwards so I'll click them on there and then there they are sitting there he looks a little bit stunted, a little bit scared right now, but um, soon we're going to stuff his little wee face. So what we're going to do now is we are 
up to row number 28. Now this one here we are going to be knitting two together over the whole mouse. So this is going to decrease it down to four stitches on each needle. So we're knitting two together 